Hey guys, it's Chelsea. Oh my god, my hair. <sighs> okay, so hey guys, I'm filming at my boyfriend Josh's house on his iMac, so excuse the quality and the lighting and what the fuck, you know what I mean? Like, what's going on? It's not my room. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to do a quick haul and a chit chat with you guys and just talk to you about what's going on and what not. So let's get started. I just have some things from Walgreens and TJ Maxx. Nothing too special, but hey, it's worth a bid. So at Walgreens, I got two things. I've been needing a toner. Um, I've been trying to take care of my skin a lot, you guys, and it's really frustrating because nothing just seems to work. You know, I've been using, um, you know, making sure I get all my makeup off. I've been using a toner. I've been using spot treatment. I've been moisturizing my face every night. I've been using eye cream. I've been doing the most when it comes to my face. And, you know, you can still see pimples. And it's just, it's been really frustrating. So, um, I got this new toner. I was using the Simple Brand toner, which is just like, um, they don't have any like chemicals or like all that jazz in there. That's really like simple stuff. Um, this is CO, it's Avalon Organic COQ10 Repair Perfecting Facial Toner. I just got this at TJ Maxx. Um, they had a couple different types of toners, but this was the cheapest. <laughs> this was $6.99. And hey, I was like, you know what? I need a toner. This is, a, it's certified or it's contains organic ingredients. It doesn't say certified organic. So I don't know. Bottles made with 100% recyclable materials. Doesn't smell too bad. So I thought I would use it because anything can help. I just hope, you know, whatever's in here doesn't irritate my face. I don't know what COQ10 is, but apparently it's supposed to, like, help um, cellular renewal is what it says. Anyway, so I'm giving this a shot. Um, I think TJ Maxx is a great but also questionable place to go for your skincare because you can try out some products that are usually a little more expensive for not that expensive. But you also run the risk of a lot of trial and error with it. <laughs> Josh is <laughs> leaving apparently. Um, okay, so I got that to try. I got some retinol cream. What are you doing? <sighs> I got some retinol cream the other day and I don't really like it too much. So, yeah. So then this is, I guess you would pronounce Jason, Jason, I don't know. Normalizing tea tree treatment shampoo. So I recently made my psoriasis video. My scalp psoriasis and everything has been really frustrating because right when I made that video, my psoriasis on my scalp wasn't too bad. I had some flakes and scales. It was a little itchier, but, you know, it wasn't too bad. I was like, okay, I can handle this. It's getting worse. Um, you know, day after day, you know, I'll just look at my scalp and there's just like a whole bunch of flakes and like a big patch of flakes and then I'll touch it and then it's like... Phew. And so I do spend quite a bit of time trying to like pick out flakes and stuff and it's it's just been really annoying. I also noticed today I might be getting psoriasis on my ear because I was like looking at my ear and there was a lot of like skin and stuff. Do I do this in your YouTube vids? No. A lot of like skin and stuff so I don't know but that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, tea tree oil, shampoo. Um, tea tree is supposed to, it even says on here, normalize scalp, dry flaky scalp, which is exactly what psoriasis is. So, um, I've heard tea tree oil could help with psoriasis. So I thought I would give it a try. It says to only use it, it or it says to use it at least three times a week. I have a salicylic acid, um, shampoo I've been using. So I think I'm going to use the salicylic acid a certain amount of days a week and then use this the other days a week to <coughs> mix them. I'm going to try and figure something out that way. Um, once I get like a handle on my psoriasis, I can make a video for, um, you guys to let you know, you know, what worked for me and you know, what's helping with it. I also have an appointment with a doctor tomorrow with my doctor <laughs> to talk to him about my options and medication and stuff. So Anyway, but even if you don't have psoriasis and you just have a like an itchy scalp, this could probably help you. And this was only six ninety nine, so yes. Why did you throw this over here? Your Zequil. Josh got for some Zequil <laughs> for the haul, but people are gonna judge. Um, Josh got some Zequil um, made by Nyquil, <laughs> and this is just a sleeping aid. It's supposed to be non habit forming and blah 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 blah. Josh is pretty much self-diagnosed has insomnia and not like the kind of insomnia like I don't know like not the kind of like day-to-day -day insomnia this is like this has been going on for a while type of insomnia so he is 
taking matters into his own hands <laughs> and buying sleeping pills. So he can maybe get some sleep and whatnot. Then at Walgreens, I got the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Um, I'm running out of my Cover FX primer I showed in my like get ready with me thing. So I got this one. It's not the best, but it works. So and it helps keep you matte and different things like that. Last thing I want to show you guys is a new favorite product that I'm going to mention when I finally film my um, night routine to show you guys what I've been kind of doing every day to kind of like make myself feel better. You know, tanner, whiter smile, taking care of my skin, blah, blah, blah. This is the Crest 3D White Luxe Glamorous White um, Alcohol Free Mouthwash. It says, whiter teeth in seven days. Honestly, the first time you use this, your teeth look whiter. I don't know what it is that's in here. Um, I got like a smaller bottle that you can buy at uh, Target for like $4 if you want to give this a try before you commit to a big bottle. But the big bottle is only like 7 And um, yeah, so I've been using it every day and I've really noticed a difference in my teeth. Can you guys see? I am drinking tea right now. So it's probably staining them. But yeah, I drink a lot of tea and coffee and it stains my teeth really bad. Even though I take really good care of my teeth. So it's really annoying. But I've been wearing my retainers every night to keep them straight. And then I've been whitening them. If you don't want to buy this, there are lots of different tutorials online. of um, It's like peroxide and baking soda you can mix for some whitening stuff. But um, I would recommend this product if you do have the money. It's really not that expensive. And like for $7 you get this huge bottle that's going to last you like... A month, couple months, you only need like a little cap. Um, but anyways, so that is my haul. I know it's really small, but I just wanted to show you guys the things I was getting and just have a chance to like chit chat with you about what's going on and what I've been doing and blah blah blah. So anyway, I will see you guys next time here live with Chelsea. Please excuse the quality of this video. The more I look at it, the more I'm like cringing. Like <laughs> Like, like just the background and the lighting and what is this? What is that? Like, I don't know. Golf clubs, like what? And anyway, <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Josh is going to be uploading a video on his channel soon, J.R. Heisman Show. I'm featured in it. It's going to be, it's like a thing on gaming channels right now. Like, um, guys having their girlfriends pick packs of whatever on the Madden <laughs> on the Madden 16 game so anyway I like pick a team for them basically so if you want to see me in action over there head on over hopefully they'll have the video up soon <laughs> or else I'll look like an idiot promoting that this week okay this week so JR Heisen show so anyway I'll see you guys next time here live with Chelsea have an amazing wonderful day if you have any comments questions concerns please leave it in the comments below and I'll see you next time